Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today I have a um, I have a thinky that I want to upgrade. It's um it's on the NAS up here, and it's my Unify video controller. I did a video about that long ago. It's actually video number 858. I'll link it up here because I do a lot of stuff in that video that I don't want to redo. So if you want to have your Unify video controller running from your uh, Synology NAS, um, watch that video. Today I'm going to be upgrading it because it has been running perfectly for a very long time but I haven't been upgrading it. They have upgraded it, so I should probably upgrade mine as well. So that we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go to the computer because all of the work is gonna be happening there. Okay, so what was supposed to be me just moving into the computer and starting uh, showing you how to do this. Actually, I am not sure that it, it will work yet, but uh, yeah, I have just installed Windows 11 on my machine in here and uh, yeah, the microphone did not want to cooperate. So I hope I got it now. Uh, I've been trying and testing stuff out. It's I'm a little bit mumbled. Uh, it's it's cancelling out some noise. I tested that and found out that it sounded best if it removed the noise. But I do lose a little bit of sound quality. So let's uh, go to the screen here and I'll show you um, my old video. Um, I searched for Docker and Unify video and there is more than, well, I'm, I'm there, I'm number three, but that's a Unify controller. I don't know why that ranks higher. And I found it funny that over here, top channels, I am number two on top channels on this subject. Cool, I am there with at least two videos because here is the 858 video that you should really see if you just want to get this up and running. And um, I have just watched it myself because I am getting old. I can't remember to do stuff like this. So I just watch my own videos and then, ah, so that's how I did it. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go into that. First, we're gonna go over to the Unify video controller here. That does not need to be that big. See, Windows 11. Ah, there. Um, I have four cameras and they are, well, they're working great. No problems whatsoever. So um, we, we can see a live view there. Live view. And uh, yeah, there is even sound on that. I don't know if you're getting that. But it's um, the weather is dull and boring here. It's dreadful outside, so it's a good thing to stay indoors. So cool enough, and um, that works just fine. So let's go uh, back to cameras just to kill the sound. And I wanna, um, I wanna just for fun and giggles, I wanna download the configuration if I mess this up. So we're gonna go here. And it downloads the configuration that took absolutely no time. So we move in here. It's the Synology thinky where you control your Synology NAS. And up here under the main menu, you find your Docker. Duckity duck. And in the video, I, I showed you how to do that. And also in that video, you can just go back. Uh, we can just press the video. I'm not so to get. Okay. Yeah. That's me. Uh, is that? That's almost. That's two and a half years ago. <laughs> but further down in the description of the video, uh, we get this thing. And I think we might need that again. So we'll, we'll be we'll be checking that out. But here, on the Synology, under Docker, I can see what Docker things I have uh, running on there, and I have my. Uh, my Playhouse Unify controller, then I have some Home Assistant, then I have some MQTT, also part of Home Assistant or a, a, an add-on thing that I needed to, to mess around with some stuff that I really never, well, it's a rabbit hole. You can yeah. spend your life there. <laughs> and I just scratched the surface and, and I didn't get any further than that. But I have my Unify video controller down here. We can see it's using 1.2% of the processor and it's using about 8 gigabyte of RAM just below. 
containers and we get the same thing but in here we can we can mark it and we can get some more details and we can see different stuff like down here it's, it tells us what volumes it's using using those two volumes and there are some some networking it's set to host and port settings which it doesn't show and yeah it's on version 3.10.5 so it's just right there and there is some newer versions available so that's why we are doing this my thought is that i should be able to just stop this one and then create a new one that will just take over the folders and everything and hopefully that's gonna be be working for me so we need to go and download the newest one uh, we'll just close that one and we do that under registry and we're just gonna get the newest one that's a unify video so gd search there and uh, last time i got this one so we're gonna get that again double click we get the option of getting the latest that's a good choice we can see that the one that I am running is this one, 3.10.5. And there is multiple versions after that. Oh, there are some older ones as well. But it seems that 3.10.13 is the latest and the greatest. But we're just going to press latest and, and select that. And it will download that for me. Okay, so it took a little bit to uh, finish that download, but it has removed that now and it seems that it's downloaded. You can get some more information about this container or Docker thing by the awesome creator. But it seems that this is mostly just to run it in Docker. There's nothing about running it on a Synology NAS, but it does not help immensely. So we're just going to try and do what we did last time. We're going to create a new one. To do that, we need to, we need to connect to the NAS through SSH. And uh, we need to enable that. So that's in the control panel. And yes, there's an update. There is a version 7 of the, the Synology stuff available. I haven't upgraded yet. But to enable SSH, we need to go in here and enable that and we'll just put it on port 22 it's not advisable but well it's, it's not open it's not port forwarded to the outside so apply oh uh, nothing has changed i have already done that okay let's check so we need our putty putty here and we need to punch in the IP number for the Genology NAS. Oh, is that one to H? And that. Oh, and it. Oh, it. it Want to make sure that I'm doing something. Um, if I trust this. Uh, yes, yes, we trust it. And it opened that on the other window. So, eh. so we're going to log in as admin. And um, I have a password for him. There we are. Admin. Um, in the last video, I believe I created a, um, a password for the root. Admin is a user on the Synology NAS. And the root is what we really need to be. I forget how to do this. Uh, I'm not a Linux guy. But... Luckily, I did a video, number 858, and I just cheated and I watched my own video. So I did a zoo-dee-oo, and as you, right there, and I need to punch in the password for, for the root, which is the same as for the administrator. It does not need to be, but well, I'm lazy. There, and I'm in. So let's see what we have. I think LS is like DR DOS. 
So we have we have volume one and volume two over there in the last part. And I know from the last video that I need to go and check volume two. So that is CD two. Uh, vol tab two. There. Uh, that's change directory and in there and then ls should show us what's in there and that's my my different stuff that i have on my nas you can see there's a my playhouse folder uh, that's where all my backup all, all my video files are and uh, home dear but i have a docker folder and that's where the docker stuff lives so cd2 to, to docker there and do an ls in there and we can see the different i have the home assistant then i have the mqtt and the unify controller and the unify video and we need to go into the unify video i believe i don't know if i need to be in there to do anything mm, but let's just go in there and see that it's there i think it There, we can see the, the stuff in there. So the last video that I did, that was really the complicated one. I, I hope that this one is gonna be simpler. Uh, this is what we're gonna be running. Normally when you run something and you wanna install a new Docker container, there's an easy way to do it. But uh, I found that this worked last time. Uh, the bottom text down here is this stuff is just me messing around trying to uh, to log in as root and last time in the last video the root didn't have a password so it wasn't possible it, it wasn't possible to elevate to root as the root user didn't have a password that's newer and pretty wide security feature that a lot of systems has uh, it's the same on, on Windows. You can't do a remote desktop to a computer if the user on there is not password protected. So those three, we are not gonna, that's just me um, trying to remember stuff. So back in that video, root actually got a password and that's uh, this line here that, that handled that. Um, the rest of this is what was fed into docker to start a new docker container and we're going to use the exact same thing because my thinking is that if i do another one another docker container and just use the same folders and the use the same stuff well it should just take over where the other one left off and um, the only thing that i want to want to change is the name up here because um, if I have two Docker containers that's called the same, I might run into issues. Uh, I think I'm going to run into issues. So we're going to give this the model or the, the version number. I think that was the one so that I can tell them apart and see which one is the old one and which one is the new one. So right now, I think what we need to do is shut down the Unify video thing. And I haven't, I don't usually do that over here. And we're going to shut down our Unify uh, video container running. Good night. There, it took a little bit and then it stopped. So that is now stopped. Awesome. So now we can create a new one. So we need our putty there. And we should just be able to feed it with all this text there and that should make it create a new a new unified video controller for us and i explained in the last video what everything was so and i can't remember to repeat that but i'm very if you're gonna do this be sure to watch the old video because i am just i just want to upgrade in this video so we're gonna copy all of this copy we're gonna go over here i'm just gonna feed it in there there and press enter and will it fail it did not it created a new unified controller right there it is at the moment stopped so 
So let's uh, let's mark it and edit it there. And let's see, I wanted to I want to enable auto start. Uh, this is because if I restart my Synology box NAS out there, it will start Docker. But if I don't set that one, it will not start the Unify video controller. So we need that one. Otherwise, it has the folders from the last one. And I believe all of this is probably good. So we're going to apply. Operation failed! How rude. Ah. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. Oh, it's running. I didn't start it. So that's probably why it can't, it failed because it is running. So we're gonna stop it. Stop it! <laughs> and then we're gonna try again. It takes a while to stop it. So it's probably the same while it took to start it. Yeah, you saw it this time. Uh, last time I didn't. So we're going to mark this and we're going to edit and we're going to try this one again. Apply. And now it worked because it wasn't running. So now we're going to start it. Go, go, catch it. And it's it's taking a while. It's exactly enough time so that you, you doubt yourself, did I do this right? And there it started. So now i have the unify video controller running over here so i believe we have to shut we have to reload that an unexpected error yeah i'll bet you we replaced you you're out of the market and there's a new and fresh guy that has taken your place starting unify video service database services I have uh, I have recorded a lot of video on this, so if it's gonna go through the database here and and check up on everything, it might be in for a treat. <laughs> so I probably should have deleted some of that. Okay, it's actually ready for me to log in now, but I just wanted to show you. Um, I opened the, the video folder in the Unify video folder here, and there is 2.17 million files in there, and it takes up 1.12 terabytes. So that's probably what it was messing with, going through some of all of that stuff. Look at this owner down here. Nobody owns this, and that's one of the things that we changed in the in the first video where I installed this because um, it needed to be set for that in a special way also using Putty uh, to set the file rights and before I did that it would it wouldn't work so but it's ready for us to log in so let's see what it sees oh okay so that was not gonna be that easy so um, it's probably because it has changed name. I call it something different and now I can't log on to it. So um, that was probably a no-go. So we're going to try and do something different. Let's see. Let's see. This one is not working. So we'll delete it again. There is stuff. We can mark it. We can go. So, should we just try and delete this one as well? That's the working one, but yeah, we're just gonna delete that. Yeah, we'll just delete it. So now I don't have a Unify video controller at all. Come on, there. So now we'll have our party, which has not even shut down. And we have our text here which I will then alter, remove that part, we'll just save that again, and we'll just copy that, there, put that over there, and hit enter, and wait for our Unify controller to pop up, there, oh, Unify video controller. It's already running. 
Now this should be complaining more than one way again. Upgrading. Okay, so it's it's thinking about that as well. That took a while, so I'll be right back. Okay, it took a bit, uh, but now it has loaded. Uh, let's see if this works now. Nope. If you are damned. Okay, so that didn't work either. So we're gonna off this again. Uh, yeah, some time has passed. And we're gonna delete that. So what I think I'll try now is to delete everything in those folders under Docker and just delete all the old data. We need that folder and the folder that we are in. So let's see if we can if we can get rid of all of this. Yes. Calculating files. Okay. I'll see how much I can delete and then we'll start from a fresh. Yikes. Uh, I selected those folders and it has picked, uh, oh, it has calculated that that is 147,377 files. It has gotten, it has deleted 40 of those and it's taking forever and ever. Okay, it actually, um, well, it took a couple of YouTube videos and then it had deleted all of it. So I'm gonna, let's go into this folder, which has the, the one point, well, 2.1 million files. And let's delete that. That's gonna take a while as well. Okay, that was timing. I, uh, I told the NAS box to delete everything in the video folder those 2.1 million files and then I went out to get something to eat and when I came back the computer had just went into sleep mode and when I got it out of sleep mode it was just soon enough to see it complete delete all those files so awesome um they are not gone all the old recordings are out of there but that is fine nothing has happened here for a long time so now that uh, it didn't work with the name, so let's just rename it again. Of course, that was kind of handy. And say that. And still the SSH is up and running. So we will copy that part there. Move that out of the way. Uh, we should see our docker thing here so that we can see when something goes in there click there make sure it's okay yes and enter so now it should create it again <laughs> we get to delete and create this a bunch of times this time there it is it's up and running it takes a little bit Oh, when it's running until I can actually log in and stuff. And this time there's not going to be anything. It, it will, it's going to be a new box. So it's not going to come directly with the login prompt. We'll have to go and do some configuring. Okay, it's far enough so that it's now thinking about it. Um, okay, so after a little bit, it comes here. I'm going to set up in VR. And it knows the time zone is Copenhagen, as we told it that. So I agree to that. And I think we should try and restore from the backup, which uh, we downloaded. Uh, we put that in the... Well, we didn't put it anywhere. It's just in the download folder. So we just got to pick it from there. Open. Confirm that we want to restore. If this doesn't work... Oh, oh, so I just needed to reboot. Okay. We do. Okay. Nice. So we are back up and running. It remembers all the cameras. We get a yellow thingy here. I think it's, it's, oh, now it's a red thingy on most of them. So that's a nice Live view, probably not. 
Okay, we're cameras are offline. Hmm. I will. Um, oh, I was going to say that I was going to figure that out, but it seems that it's figuring itself out. So now we should have three cameras online. Yes, and we have sound. I'm just missing that last one. Hmm. Wonder if that doesn't pop up as well. Okay, the last camera also came online, so that is awesome. And right here it says that we are running version 3.10.13, so that is nice. But if I go in settings here, it says that the Unify video controller is 3.10.5. But it seems that everything is working now. Uh, there is no recordings. Nothing has been recorded, so what I think I'll do is that I'll run out the back door and wave at you and we'll see if it records anything. I'll just take this mic off. Did it work? Did you see me? <laughs> Let's see if it recorded anything. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, see me going out. Me waving stupidly. Me waving stupidly to the other camera, which I need to go and humidity on the lens. And then me going back in again. Can I see that one? Yeah. <laughs> Run for it! <laughs> cool. Very nice. So that didn't come without issues. Had to reinstall multiple times and delete everything. Doesn't matter. I um, probably was about time anyway. It has been running for a couple of years, I think. Kind of no harm in doing a bit of a reinstall there. A weird error with the version numbers not being the same and stuff, but well, whatever. So um, yeah, I need to do the the controller as well that manages all the network, but I'm not gonna do that today because this took way longer than expected. I thought that I was just gonna be shutting that one down and starting a new one and that would take over and I would be done and yeah, it, uh, it got into a longer video, so if um, any of you guys has done the same thing and knows exactly how it's done, I would be very happy to read about that in the comments below. Other than that, I would very much enjoy it if you would give me a like to this video. Always help. Other than that, I think I'll just wish you a very nice day and say thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.